Hello. So about a year ago, I made a video on the whole Kosovo issue that you should watch right now because I'm about to spoil it. Oh, you're back. Or you never left. Whatever. In that video I came to the conclusion that we should carve out Kosovo, throw it into outer space and have a beautiful sea in its place where Albanians and Serbs can fight for fishing rights. I mean that was cool and all but if you want to make the Balkans a global superpower, we need to fix all of its geopolitical issues. But don't worry, that's where I come in as the future supreme leader of the Race East Federation. <laughs> Going from top to bottom, we start from Romania. We got three questions to answer here. Is it even Balkan? Yeah, yeah it is. Should they reunite with Moldova? We should let Romanians decide. Do they want to become part of the Balkan family? Or do they want to join the Eastern European savages and become consumed by Moldova? It's your choice. <coughs> East Transylvania, rightful Hungarian clay. Gentlemen, I'm of the opinion that Hungarians should get their pre trianon borders. Inside of their current borders. Checkmate, Hungols. <laughs> For decades, Croatia and Slovenia have had border disputes in the Gulf of Iran. Slovenia even famously blocked Croatia from entering the EU for this reason. They want access to international waters, while Croatia respectfully disagrees. And I agree with Croatia, they should get all the coastline, like all of it. Fuck Slovenia, they are not even Balkan, until Europa looking ass country. Directly south from Slovenia, we have its former roommates, the war crime fanatics. The funniest zone of the funny zone. Serbia, Bosnia and Croatia, despite being practically the same vowel-hating South Slavic people, they always seem to focus on their differences more. And by differences, I of course mean their different flavors of religion, which they don't even practice. <laughs> Thus, historically, and even today, they have committed various amounts of tomfoolery, from screaming at each other in a video game, all the way to the G-word. Nowhere is this divide more apparent than in Bosnia. Just look at this place. Can we even fix it? Like Obama famously said. No, we can't. But I can. Method 1. United in ignorance. It's quite a simple plan. Just present the West Balkans with a distraction. A common enemy, if you will. Jeep, no sorry, West, Westoids, Westoids. I credit Mr. Putin for uh, this idea. He somehow convinced the Russian people that uh, the West is trying to make Russia a fanboy land or something. If this somehow doesn't work, we just go to method 2. Divide and conquer. Let them balkanize each other for a bit, and when the right moment comes, we swoop in and turn this shit into Montenegro. Ah yes, my favorite place on the planet. How you can piss off all of your neighbors by simply existing is nothing short of admirable. But, unfortunately, North Macedonia you have to be partitioned. I'm sorry, but it's for the greater good. Actually, I just find it hilarious. <coughs> this last one is kind of a serious issue considering Turkey violates Greek territory about 67 times per day. Also, they are coming at night. Didn't ask for your masturbation routine, but uh, glad you shared. The root of the problem is this. Greece owns everything, and Turkey doesn't like that. So what we're going to do is give Turkey a few rocks of their choosing, and in return, Greece gets a chunk of Western Thrace. Now you know, this sounds a bit controversial, but don't worry. Special Agent Erdoganopoulos is in the last phase of his plan. Turkey shall be destroyed. Istanbul, more like Wostanbul. Thanks for watching my PowerPoint presentation disguised as a YouTube video. 
If we learned anything from today, ladies and gentlemen, it's that with enough misinformation and peaceful extreme measures, we can make the Balkans great again. Long live the race East Balkan Federation!